Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about foundation primers. Now the point of a foundation primer is exactly the same point as what you have when you're painting a wall. You put the primer on so that it gets sucked into the wall because the primer is relatively inexpensive and it will bond to your paint better than your wall itself would. And so the same thing goes for foundation primer. It bonds to your skin better than your foundation would and it gives a more flawless finish. So the reason that I like to use organic rather than commercial primer is that commercial primer uh, tends to have silicone in it. Um, glycerin does the same thing to some degree, but the silicone can clog your pores and cause some uh, breakouts. So I'm going to start with my favorite one first. My favorite one is from Urzuli Cosmetics and it's Quench Hydrating Booster. And it has glycerin in it. And I love her products because everything that she makes blends into your skin flawlessly, even if it looks like it's the wrong color. You can see this is darker than my skin. But when it goes on, all it does is add a hint of shine to my face rather than actual pigment per se. There's a tiny, tiny bit of sparkle. And it gets tacky as soon as you put it on your skin. So it moisturizes your skin, but then it stays slightly tacky. And that tackiness allows it to bond onto your foundation so that it holds. And you get a ton of product. This was $13 and it doesn't look like it would be very much if you're using it as a moisturizer, but it goes so far. A little bit goes so far. So this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And it reminds me the most of the product that has the silicone in it. And um, their, their color is actually uh, similar as far as once it's on your skin, they both have kind of the same amount of shine. And then my second favorite is from Ariel, Ariel's Treasure Troves, and it's Natural Mineral Primer, and I got the one for dry skin, and what it is is a clay base that you have to put oil into. Now, it comes with the oil in it, but the two times that I've had it shipped to me, the oil leaked out in the package, and so I've had to, instead what I do is I take a little bit of this, put it in my hand, add the drops of oil that I want, and then I put it onto my face, and then I use a powder foundation that I use a kabuki brush, the one thing that you have to be careful of on this is that um, it, it does create a flawless finish. It's quite good at covering up flaws, but you, it, it, it is more than one layer on your skin and it will have a tendency to brush off. And I do have a tendency to get it in my mouth, but when I use this when I'm on camera, it is a flawless, flawless finish. And, um, it, it's good. It, I don't think it's really for an everyday wear because when you're out in the sun and working and sweating a lot, it doesn't really stay on your face very well. Um, my last one, this is from um, the All Natural Face, which is my favorite, favorite company to get powders from. Her powders are gorgeous and really amazing, especially her foundation powders come in such a wide range that everybody can find the color that they need and her her brushes are inexpensive everything that she does she does in lots of different sizes so that you can pick one that it works for your budget while you're trying out if you like it the only exception to that is her liquids um this was 13 dollars. it's her primer it's a new product and although i love the um idea of the primer i i didn't feel like it did more, much more than what a regular moisturizer would do. It didn't really feel that tacky when I put it on. Um, it didn't have any tint in it. And so it could just be at this point, it could just be my perception of it that it's not showing up. Maybe, maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me that I like to see it going on and I see that little bit of tint. Um, but I own her moisturizer that is from the same line. And I couldn't, I really, really couldn't tell a difference between the two when I put them on my skin. So I think that she will improve her formula over time. I think it's always hard when you have a new product that comes on the scene to be testing it and see what customers like about it. Um, I think that the pumps are pretty cool. And um, if, if it was a difference between the cost of the container though, I got more product in this one with a less less snazzy container 
and so I would pick this container over this one if, if this one was doubling the price and also decreasing the amount of product that I actually got. So there is that. Um, I love all of these companies. I love the smells that I get with Ariel's Treasure Troves. I love the aromas, that she, the aromatherapy type things that she adds into it. Her, um, her uh, makeup finishing spray for dry skin that has the ylang ylang and the, is it lavender? I think those are the two that she uses in it. I loved how those smelled together. And when I have allergies, they're amazing. I love her powders. This is the All Natural Face. Loved the powders. And I love most of her uh, liquid type stuff. The things that I'm not so thrilled about are like her eyeliners, her liquid eyeliners, the brushes. They spike out after a very short amount of time so that it's hard to get your eyeliner on straight. So it's just little tiny details like that. And the most polished, the most professional, the most polished um, cream liquid that I have found has always been Urzuli Cosmetics. And her website is progressinhealth.com. And so if you have dry skin, I really love Urzuli Cosmetics. If you have oily skin, you might want to stick more to the all natural face. Um, just, and that's just because Urzuli is good with creams and liquids and the all natural face is really good with powders. So there's just some differences there for you. And I hope this was helpful and I'll put links below for all these companies. I was not sponsored by, by them. I purchased all of these cosmetics myself. And um, I always come back to these companies because I just think that they do a really good job. So. We'll talk to you later.